Welcome to Electron Online. Most of us know that the integral of 1 over x dx is equal to the natural log of x. But how do we know that? Well, let me show you. First of all, what we can do is we can take 1 over 1 minus x and write it out as an infinite sum that's called the power series. And this can be written as 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed and so forth. Now, if we replace the x by a negative x, then this becomes 1 over 1 minus a minus x, which is really 1 over 1 plus an x, and that can then be written as 1 minus x plus x squared minus x cubed plus x to the fourth, and so forth, because you can see that whenever we have an odd exponent, it becomes negative, and an even exponent remains positive. Now, let's take the integral of both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the integral of 1 over 1 plus x dx and set it equal to the integral of what we have here, which is 1 times dx. So when we do that, on the right side, that's an easy integral. This is equal to x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 minus x to the fourth over four, and that would be plus x to the fifth over five, and you can see the pattern, of course, we still have a constant of integration. Now it turns out that is the infinite series expansion of the natural log of one plus x. So this is equal to the natural log of one plus x, plus of course a constant of integration. Now, we know that the integral of 1 over 1 plus x dx is equal to the natural log of 1 plus x plus c. Now let's make a substitution and see what happens. We're going to take this integral and we're going to, we're going to let 1 plus x equal u. That means that if I take the differential du, that is equal to dx. And if I substitute that back in this integral right here, that means that integral now becomes the integral of 1 over u du, and we know that that is equal to the natural log of 1 plus x plus a constant of integration. But since 1 plus x was equal to u, we can say that the integral of 1 over u du must therefore equal the natural log of u plus a constant of integration, which means that, going back over here, the integral of 1 over x dx must indeed be equal to the natural log of x plus a constant of integration. And that's one way in which we can see that the integral of that is indeed equal to the natural log of x plus a constant. And that's how it's done.